Hi everyone, welcome to this week's grammar and clarity tip. The very first one is, is my sentence whole? Here we have a very simple whole sentence. Mrs. Carey ate her lunch. For a sentence to be whole, you need three ingredients. The first ingredient is the subject, Mrs. Carey. The subject is the person who is doing whatever is being done in the sentence. The next ingredient is the verb. Mrs. Carey ate her lunch. The verb is the doing or being word. And the final ingredient is the object. Mrs. Carey ate her lunch. The object is the thing that the subject is doing something to. In this case, Miss Carey is eating her lunch. In somebody ran a race, so let's say Bill ran a race, the race would be the object. It is the thing that something is being done to. Do not put fragments into your work. Here are two fragments. They're trying to say the same thing as this, but they're not. Ate her lunch. Who ate her lunch? Did Miss Carey eat her lunch or did someone steal it from the staff room fridge? We don't know. Here, Mrs Carey her lunch. Well, what is she doing? Is she eating her lunch? Is she cooking it? We don't know. Always look, watch out for fragments in your work. Make sure they have a subject, a verb and an object. Now, if you want to stretch yourself, some professional writers will use fragments on purpose for effect. Fact. This here is a fragment. It's not a whole sentence, but it's been used as one, just to catch your eye. There are two main types of this. One is one-word sentences, like this. Fact. And the other one is very simple sentences without an object, such as, she ate, he ran. If I was writing a story about how I was really hungry, I might end it with, she ate. We know what I was thinking about. We know through the story I was thinking about my lunch. I only need to put that for effect, to surprise the reader, to really emphasise it. Do not overuse these in your writing because you might make the examiner think that you can't write full sentences. But now and again, if you use them carefully, you can use them to mimic the style of professional writers. Okay, tune in next week. We will be looking at some more grammar and clarity tips.